everyone welcome back to the house station a place for all how to's and DIYs in today's video I'm going to show you how I made a photo frame using an empty cereal box so instead of just throwing it away you can use it to make something creative and earlier I had made a video on how to make a photo frame using a cardboard you can watch it somewhere here and I had made a video or uh, Valentine's Day special video in which I had shown an ice cream stick photo frame. So there were six DIYs for that video and out of that one was an ice cream stick photo frame. You can watch that video over here. And today is again a video about a photo frame. So it is but obvious that I prefer making my own frames or I love making my own frames and why I love doing that or why I prefer making my frames I have a blog on it and you can read it over here and now let's begin with the video I have an empty cereal box which I have opened up I will mark two points at a distance of 1.5 inch from the base and draw a line then following this line I will make a rectangle which measures 6 inches into 4 inches this is where the photograph is going to go so make the rectangle depending on the size of your photograph. So here is my rectangle and now I will draw borders of 1.5 inch on each side of the rectangle. So this looks like a frame now. I will now mirror image this frame. So as you can see, I have two exact looking frames. It is now time to cut the frame. So cut the whole thing properly. And now it is time to cut the center piece. So I have a newspaper down because I have ruined the surface of my table and I don't want to ruin it more. So okay, here is uh, my frame as you can see and now I will start folding it. So I'm going to fold it from the center and once that is done, I will Take the frame from three sides leaving the top because that is the place from where I am going to slide in my photograph. So here it is the basic structure and now it is time to make a stand for it. So I have a long strip. I will fold it inwards from the top and from the bottom I will go inward, outward, inward creating this W like shape. And then I will stick it on the back of the frame. I'll keep something heavy on it so it is nice and secure. And while that is drying, I'll do some decorations for the frame. So I have a red and a pink paper. So on the red paper, I will mark points to cut the size of the frame using the frame itself for the reference so that I don't go wrong anywhere. And then I'll cut it out. Then I'll take the pink paper and I'll cut strips of about 1 cm wide and once my strips are ready, I'll go back to the first paper and draw uh, borders at a distance of 0 0.5 cm from each side and then I'll cut the slits inside the new border I've just created. Well, it might sound confusing but, but it's not.
I am cutting each slit at a distance of 1 cm and once the slits are done, I will start passing the strips in a matte format. So it goes over, under, over and for the second strip, uh, it will go under, over, under. So basically, just keep on alternating everything. So this is what it looks like. I know it's a complete mess but now I'll push the strips, align it well and stick the corners and then cut off the excess. And I'll do this for the whole thing and once that is done, here it is. Lovely, right? Now I'll stick this on the frame and then I'll take another piece from the cereal box and draw a petal and cut it out. And then using this as a guideline, I'll draw 5 more petals and then I'll stick them in a flower shape. And once my flower is ready, I'll stick the flower on the frame and then slide in a photograph or whatever you want to slide in and you're done. So that was it. I hope you all enjoyed watching it and I don't want to put, put a photo on the and I, and I don't want to put a photo in my frame. I just want to put a nice quote or a nice thought in there. So if you all have something really good, do send it to me. Do tell it to me in the comments down below so that I can put that instead of a plain paper in there. And if you want to put a photograph, just make sure that you cover the front with a plastic, clear plastic or an OHP sheet. Otherwise, there's going to be dust on your photograph and that is going to ruin your photograph. And you don't want that, you know. So I just put a plastic in front and... I I didn't have the plastic in first place and uh, second place is I'm not going to put in a photograph there so I didn't cover mine in plastic. So that was it and I just hope that you all enjoyed watching the video and if you all did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and follow me on my social media and subscribe to my channel because every week I share some easy and inexpensive how to's and DIYs and uh, or else you go and share it with your friends and family and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!